Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Music Mecca's Decent Exposure. My name's Paul Howard, and we're here in East Nashville, Tennessee, on a very uh, hot and humid day. And uh, we're here with soul singer, songwriter, Jess Nolan. Jess, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, so you're from New Jersey, is that correct? Yes, I uh, am. Whereabouts in New Jersey? Central New Jersey. Central New Jersey. I hear there is no Central New Jersey. There is a debate over whether it exists, but it does in my mind. But it's a small town mm -hmm. there, Highland Park, New Jersey, mile wide. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Um, other than perhaps family, what do you miss most about it? The beach. The beach? I really miss the beach, yeah. I grew up going to the beach every summer, so that is one thing I'm sorely missing this yeah, summer. Understandably so. Uh, what don't you miss about it? Traffic traffic yeah there's no traffic here compared to what what it's like in new jersey yeah <laughs> fair enough um and of course i have to ask you regarding regarding this great debate of taylor ham versus pork roll i know it's like in new jersey that's a very big deal <laughs> if you're on the pork roll side of the taylor ham side yeah so i have to ask you which you prefer what, what you strong side. advocate for pork roll egg and cheese that's awesome. what my that's what my dad called it growing up. So that's pork what roll. it is. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> you guys out there watching, definitely Google that. It's a fun New Jersey debate, and it's a damn good food too. Um, so, what brought you to Nashville as opposed to like New York City or LA or yeah. Austin or, or some other musically inclined city? Uh, so I went to school at University of Miami in Florida. I was in the music school down there, and I took a trip here the spring before I graduated, and I just. I just fell in love with the idea that there would be like mountains and hiking and outdoors and then also city and venues and I just love the small town feel of this city. For so sure. Yeah. Yeah. That is for sure. Never imagined myself living in the South though. Yeah. <laughs> Yet here yeah. I am. <laughs> All right. So your new album uh, from Blue to Gold drops August 28th. Yes. Is that right? That's exciting. Yes. Um, what would you say are the main inspirations and influences behind this collection of songs? So a lot of the songs from this record started when I was dip diving into Maya Angelou's poetry. Um, I was going through some writer block like maybe three years ago and I started just writing poetry and that was sort of how I started writing music when I was in middle school anyway as they were poems that I would turn into songs and um, this this record really feels like that's where it all started was with the poetry and then um, collaborated with some people and brought the songs together and I would say the musical influences are Joni Mitchell and James Taylor but with some pop production so cool yeah I would say my Angelou mm -hmm. and and probably Joni Mitchell were like the two biggest inspirations yeah for it. cool right on and what do you have planned as far as a release for it you know, for release day? Yeah, so we're going to be doing a live stream, which I have pre-recorded a set at the basement with my band, and I'll be live from my living room, kind of giving commentary on the record and playing the songs, and I'm really excited to yeah. share it with people because yeah. we couldn't do a, an in-person show, unfortunately. Nice. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Got to do what you can do in times like these. Definitely. So, yeah. Get creative. Um, and so where did you record it and who was involved in the production? Yeah. So Ian Miller is a good friend of mine and he produced the record. Uh, and we did a lot of the main tracking at Smokestack in Berry Hill, which is Paul Moak's studio. Um, Zach Zink engineered it there. Uh, and yeah, the, the main tracking day, we had Calvin Knowles on bass, Ross McReynolds on drums, Derek Wells played guitar, and then Mike Hicks came in and played some organ, and Adrian Taylor also played bass. Um, it was an awesome experience, and then all of the overdubbing we did at Ian's house. So we nice. did vocals and strings and all kinds of stuff in his nice. living room, which was nice. really, really nice. Nice. Are these guys that you play with regularly, like in the past? And yeah, okay. Ian's been a friend of mine for a while, and I really respect him as a producer mm -hmm. and a keyboard player. And um, we were actually roommates at the time that we made the record, so it was awesome to just like be in my pajamas and go record some vocals. It was super relaxed, and I yeah. think that shows in, in the performance yeah. on the record, too. Cool. So Nice. Yeah. Um, so what about um, your songwriting process? H how does that work? You know, do you have kind of an atmosphere that you seek out or a pastime that aids in it, like yoga, mm -hmm. meditation, or does it kind of come more sporadically, like while you're driving or just, you know, out of the blue? Yeah, I would say it's a range mm -hmm. depending on the song. I like to experiment with different ways of writing. Um, so sometimes something will just hit me and I'll write a little, do a little voice memo, write a, write a note down, and then it turns into something. Half the songs on this record I wrote by myself and they came very quickly. 
Um, and then the other half I wrote with, with people in town like Ryan Connors and Mary Bragg. Um, and those were more of, you know, like songwriting sessions where you sit down and you just kind of pour your soul out and yeah. something fun comes from it. For sure. Nice. So, yeah. Um, so what about, what are your top three favorite Nashville establishments that you just love and adore? I, I always like to just give a shout out to yeah. the places people love in Nashville. So yeah. Um, so whatever that is. Coffee I shops. miss, uh, I miss going to High Garden Tea, which unfortunately we won't be able to do that even when this is over. Hopefully they're able to rebuild something, but the tornado took them out. But um, I've just been ordering tea online right now from them to help support because that place was definitely one of my favorites. It's one of a kind. Yeah. It really was. It was a special place and I hope they're able to build it up again. Um, so I would say High Garden Tea. Um, and then I miss the five spot mm -hmm. so much. Such a common answer, but rightfully so. Man, yeah. Sunday Night Soul is like, that was where I got my start here in town and Jason Eskridge and Sid and Harlow behind the bar. Like that's my family. So I really miss going to the five spot on Sundays. Um, and then the basement too. Mm -hmm. I, I, so I'm saying two venues cause I just, it, yeah. I miss seeing live music and for sure. Yeah. All great spots. Mm -hmm. Um, so last question, what advice might you give to uh, a young songwriter who wants to pick up their keyboard and move down from New Jersey, mm -hmm. move to Nashville, and they don't know where to start, and they just want to get, you know, get yeah. their career started in Nashville? Yeah. Um, my advice would be to find your community. Um, that really is the start of anything, right? Like, mm -hmm. you can't do anything by yourself completely. And I wouldn't be where I am without the people that I met when I first moved here. So I would honestly say just find people that you feel like are a part of your vision for your music and, and make it an inclusive thing. And mm -hmm. that's really what Nashville is all about is the community. And, and that's what sets it apart from places like New York or sure. L.A. Absolutely. You know, there's a there's a real feeling of inclusiveness. And, um, yeah, I would say find your community. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's good advice. Um, I'm going to that's going to do it for me on my end. Um, thanks everybody for tuning in and thanks again to, for, to Jess for being here and uh, I'm going to pass it off to Jess and she's going to close this thing out and play some songs uh, and be uh, keep your ears and eyes peeled for uh, f From Blue to Gold which is going to be out August 28th. This episode of Decent Exposure is sponsored by Topo Chico. First song I'm going to play is called Like a Flower. It's the first track on the new record. I am so patient this morning. I watch the sky change slow, turn from blue to gold. Just out here waiting. For the warmth to come, for us to feel the sun. Clouds kiss the mountains around us. With a gentle touch, they cover just enough. And your smile echoes for miles. Sweetest symphony to finally hear you breathe.
So y'all can hear that, but it's a nice little added touch. Train solo. Um, I wrote this song with my friend uh, Brittany Kennel. She goes by Britty. Um, and uh, we just wanted to write a song about how uh, you shouldn't take yourself so seriously. <laughs> We're all victim to that. We can get wrapped up in it. And uh, this one's called Doesn't Matter. Just when I think it's going right Finally I hit my stride I get the red light But maybe it's a good sign Every time it's looking up Rain will falling into rocks All the good luck But hey, it's just a few drops When the smallest thing is heavy The drama is unnecessary That's when I just gotta say This one is called Easy Like That, and I wrote this with my good friend Mary Bragg. Um, during these times, it's been stressful and hard for all of us. Um, we're going through a lot, and I feel like compassion is the one thing that we have that we can control and how we treat other people, even just strangers on the street. Um, I hope this song brings you a little light and reminds you that you can bring that to other people always. Uh, this is called Easy Like That. A wild flower waking up in the spring. We're a quiet afternoon in the shade of a tree. Nervous feet falling right into place. We can let the music rest in the empty space. And we don't have to say anything, change anything, no more pretending. We don't have to do anything, prove anything, don't have to 
against the end what I give to you you give it right back we're already easy like that a magic trick through the eyes of a child with the old familiar joke when you needed a smile with that open door when you tell it in the key with a strong river bend giving it into the sea and we don't have to say anything change anything no pretending we don't have to do anything prove anything don't have to guess the ending what i give to you you give it right back we're already easy like that staring in your eyes i can't define what i'm feeling As if I'm thinking out loud. Mm. Don't say anything. I wouldn't change anything. We don't have to say anything, change anything. No more pretending. We don't have to do anything. Prove guess the ending and what I give to you you give it right back we're already easy easy like that we're already easy like that don't say Thanks so much for having me. <laughs>